Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunderbus Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderbus Fishing Tips. We are out here on Lake Erie and today folks, it's a gorgeous day, perfect day. We're gonna be looking for perch. Uh, we're gonna run just a sting nose jig and spoon. No live bait today, just a sting nose. We're gonna head out there right now. I'm looking at the gauge. It's uh, 40 degree water temp. So we're gonna fish a little bit deeper. Uh, I see there's a number of boats out there already, so hopefully that's a good sign. We're going to find out, so stay tuned, folks. We're hoping to have a great day on the water. There you go, folks. We've just jigged up, I think, our first perch. We're going to see. Gave me a good hit, really good hit. And yes, it is. We've got ourselves. Oh, yeah. That is one nice Lake Erie perch right there that's what we came here for and oh look at that he's just hooked barely on the lip there just barely on the lip as you can see but that's a nice start to our day right there he came out of 51 feet of water beautiful chunky perch let's get him in the live well and then I got to get right back down there because where there's one there's usually more like I said folks where there's one there's more I got myself that was another nice hit they're hitting these sting nose just on the fall I'm just working it about a foot off the six inches off the bottom and they're hitting it right on the fall. Oh yeah, that's another nice perch. Get him in here. These guys are almost they're almost net worthy folks. Look at that. Another one right up right up the snout. Okay. About the same size as that last one. But that's a nice, nice Lake Erie yellow perch right there. And like I say, all I'm doing is get this down there. And you can see there's a number of boats off to the side of us here, uh, fishing there. I'm just kind of working off the pack of the boats. And uh, as opposed to anchoring, I've got a drift sock out here. Now there's just a slight breeze out here today, so we're not moving that quickly, but I want to slow the drift up and I want to fish as vertical as possible. So I just get my sting nose down there, let it flutter down to the bottom. And then all I'm doing folks is just jigging it up and then just let it flutter right back down to the bottom, pause for a second or two, jig it back up again. And I could see where that fish came. I noticed on the graft there was a little bit of structure and there might have been a couple of fish holding on there. Now it's kind of flattened out a bit. Oh, we're coming up to a little bit of structure again. So maybe, uh, maybe I'll get into another fish or two, but that's the technique. And the drift sock is keeping me slower, drifting me slower, allowing me to fish a lot more vertically. And that's what I want to do. If I'm moving too quickly, what will happen is my, my, my sting nose will just start drift off to the side and I'll be fishing more suspended and I want to fish right close to the bottom because that's where these perch are holding. I'm hoping to get into a few more, so stay tuned. This one feels like a good fish, folks. What a good hit. Oh my goodness. Now the sting nose I'm using today is the half ounce size. Oh, it's another good fish. Come on in here, Mr. Perch. <laughs> Looky there. Oh, and I got the cameraman's line on my hook too. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a mess. Okay. All right, let's get him off. Oh yeah, look at that chunky perch, folks. That's what they call Lake Erie perch right there. Let's get it right back down again. So as I mentioned, I'm using the half ounce sting nose and the, hat, the, the sting nose, the reason why it's working, it looks just like a minnow. Very, very realistic looking. And that's why I don't need bait because the sting nose looks just like a minnow. And uh, I could go with the 3 8 ounce or the quarter ounce size, but I went for the half ounce size because I wanted to get down there quick enough. And it's a little bit heavier to keep me down there a little more vertical. And that's what I want to do. So if it were real rough, I wouldn't even mind using the three quarter ounce, but right now the half ounce size is absolutely perfect. And all we're doing, uh, I've actually put another drift sock out. I've got two drift socks out just to slow us down a bit. And the reason I haven't anchored is because these fish are, they're in this area, but they're scattered. If they were schooled up thicker, I'd throw the anchor in. But right now the drift socks are doing the trick and I'm just gonna keep jigging the sting nose right off the bottom and uh, hopefully get into a few more of those nice, beautiful yellow perch. This one feels like another nice fish. Oh my, what a relaxing way to spend a day on the water. This is unbelievable fishing. Unbelievable. Feels like another decent, 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's a good perch, folks. Oh, it's a good perch. That's a real nice. <laughs> when you can lip lock these perch like that, you know you've got yourself a beautiful, beautiful perch. Isn't that nice? Oh, oh. This is great fishing. Just up for another drift. Didn't even get a chance to throw the drift sock in. Down it went, and I want to show you what that last perch coughed up. Oh, this is another nice perch, folks. Oh yeah. That is another nice Lake Erie chunky perch right there. Oh, this one's coughing up too. Let's see here. Ah, oh, come on out. I don't know if I can get it out or not. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I just want to show you this. That's this, this perch just coughed up. It looks like some sort of bait fish, but I'll show you what the other perch coughed up. Let me just get rid of that. Check that out right there. That, folks, is one small goby. It's hard to tell, but there's a little bit of brown in there, and that's definitely a goby. And that's what that other perch coughed up just moments ago. So as bad as those gobies are, the perch are feeding on them, the walleye are feeding on them, the bass are feeding on them, so that's a good thing. He just hit it on the paws. I like to jig and pause, as you know, when I'm using jigging spoons. And they'll either hit it on the fall or on the paws. This one hit on the paws. Not quite as big as those other ones I've been getting, but I want you to see, look at that size of that half ounce sting nose jigging spoon. And it is definitely not too big for these perch. Like I say, you can go down to a quarter ounce, three eighths ounce, half ounce, but even, even three quarter ounce. That's a, that's a male, obviously. I'll put him in. But uh, definitely the half ounce is definitely not too big. And like I say, I like the fact that it's getting me down there quicker and allowing me to fish more vertically. And that, like I say, that second drift sock is helping a lot as well. And we're in uh, 50, 50, 51 feet of water. And those fish are down there. Like I say, they're scattered, but they're down there. Okay, see if I can get myself right on the bottom. You can tell you're on the bottom. When your jigging spoon hits the bottom, your line just kind of goes limp. And that's when you want to take up the bale and then just start, just start jigging. Now you know you're on the bottom. And with these two drift socks holding us down, I know I'm fishing close to the bottom all the time. Oh, that, that was another, oh, that was another good chunky fish and another good hit. Oh boy, they're coming up out of this 50, 51 feet of water. And like I say, it's not fast and furious. They're just sparse, they're sparse in here. But they're holding, and that's the key. You know, what else I like about today, besides the fact that we're getting into some nice perch. This one doesn't feel as big, but still decent. Oh yeah, actually, a little deceiving. That's a nice perch. The other thing I like about today is the weather. Oh, he just inhaled that sting nose. He inhaled it. Oh boy. It's not too cold. It's not windy. Nice calm day. Oh, this one's bleeding a bit, but that's okay. He's going right in the box. And these days are few and far in between on Lake Erie. And you, when you get a day like this in the spring, you really got to take advantage of it and enjoy some of this great fishing that there is out here. I absolutely love it. And when they hit, you feel, you feel that thump. It's absolutely fantastic. There's another nice Lake Erie perch right there. Coming out of 50 feet of water, nice chunky fish. Okay, get my line back down there again. Like I say, these fish are scattered, but they're but they're here and they're holding in this area. This guy was fighting, unbelievable, the pulls he was giving me. You know, when it comes to perch fishing, you know I love to use minnows. Oh yeah, that's another nice perch. You know I love to use cut bait, but there's just something about jigging for perch. Look at that chunk right there. There's just something about jigging for perch that I absolutely love. Back in he goes, that live well is starting to look good and take shape, folks. Back down I go. But you know what, give jigging spoons a try. It's a lot of fun, very rewarding. And it looks like I'm in for a great fish fry tonight. I wanna thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thundermas Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. What a riot.